Breast Up Babes, Lucy Jane here again and um, today I'm going to be bringing you a video that has been highly requested um, just outlining kind of the key bra styles, the differences between them, um, what each style is good for and like the key features of it. Um, a lot of you have asked this because while we're all about like bra fitting and bra sizes it can vary a little bit between styles and between brands. Um, today we're focusing on just styles um, and I'll just be running through some key ones and the differences between them just so you can see. Okay, the first style I'm going to show you is a plunge bra. This one is the Curvy Cape Flutterby in Lilac. So as you can see, this plunge bra, it has a lower centre gore. So that means where the wires meet in the middle, it sits quite low. It also has a plunging neckline, really aptly named there. Um, so it's perfect for wearing under lower cut necklines um, when you don't want your bra peeking out. They tend to fit quite true to size, um, but some women do prefer to go down a cup size in plunge bras just because the shape of the cup means it's got quite a higher apex point and that can cause some gapping. And obviously if you're not as full, um, you're going to have a bit of space. So some women do prefer to go down a cup size. I used to until my breast changed shape about a year ago and now I wear the same size. So it's all kind of, this is going to come up a lot. It's all unique to you and what fits you and your breast shape best. Next up, I'm going to show you a balcony bra. So balcony bras are um, kind of a really everyday style. They offer medium coverage. Um, this particular one is the Top Spot by Curvy Kate and it has a really nice low underarm. Not all balcony bras do have that. Um, so bear it in mind, but this is a great choice for people who are quite short in the torso and find that their bras usually dig into their armpits a little bit. Um, but yeah, it comes up a little bit higher on the um, on your bust than a plunge bra, and the centre gore is a little bit higher too. So it's really good for every day, really supportive, kind of average coverage, works under a lot of necklines, and yeah, I think everyone needs a balcony bra in their drawer. Um, you might find that if you're particularly full busted, so if you're like really full shape on top, you might want to go up a cup size just because of that extra kind of height in the cup. Next up, I'm going to be talking about half cup bra, which is my favourite shape bra. So this is the scantily harnessed half cup bra. Half cup bras tend to have a thin foam lining in them, um, obviously to help with that support so since it's such a kind of low coverage shape sometimes called demi cup bras. Um, they have kind of a higher centre gore, a bit like a balcony bra, but the actual cup coverage is lower. They tend to have vertical seams, which is what pushes your breast tissue up and gives that really kind of sexy boudoir, shelf lifty style, which is my favourite. It's perfect for wearing under like a square neck top when you want a bit of a boost. Um, generally, we suggest sizing up a cup size for half cup bras just because Obviously when you're full of busted you've got a lot more volume in your bust so if you're kind of if you're more bottom heavy then your normal size should be okay but if you're very full and you want more of an everyday fit then we suggest sizing up in the cup. Next up I'll be talking about non-wired bras. These are hot on everyone's lips at the moment with lockdown. So this is the Panache Andorra non-wired bra in black and it's just a really nice everyday kind of lace style without the underwire. It does give pretty good support because it's got the laminated bottom cups but do bear in mind that non-wired bras are not going to be as supportive as wired bras so if you really want that support a non-wired bra probably isn't for you but for more kind of comfort and just everyday and lounging then go for it. Um, but do know you're probably not going to get the, the centre gore to sit against your breastbone because there's no wires in it to hold it there. Um, they're generally quite full of coverage, obviously just to support and hold your bust in place a bit more as well. Um, because of the non-wire design, there is a more limited size range, but options are increasing for us D plus people out there. Next, I'm going to talk to you about moulded bras. So this is the Curvy Kate Smoothie Soul. It's a moulded plunge bra. Um, the term moulded just means that the cup has been preformed from one piece of fabric over a mould hence the term moulded. They can be padded or non-padded. Um, this is kind of like a foam lined, it hasn't got any push up padding in it, it's just got that foam kind of thin lining in it. A non-padded bra, non-padded moulded bra would be like the Gossard Glossies which I can't wear because it's too sheer and will get deleted off Instagram. Um, but here it is, so you can see it's just that one, 
one sheet of fabric there's no there's no seams in there um, so because there's no seams it can mean that the support is lacking because the seams are what kind of direct and support your breast tissue in a bra um, molded bras they have a nice seamless finish so they're great for wearing under tighter fitted clothes and they can be a little bit trickier to fit just because obviously it's a preformed shape so if your bust doesn't perfectly fit that shape then you're not going to get the best fit you might find you want to go up or down a cup size because of the gapping or your bust might be too full in the middle so you need to go up a cup size to get that extra depth so the next style i'm going to be talking about is strapless bras so this is the curvy cape luxe strapless bra it's one of our best selling strapless bras um, because of the amount of support a strapless bra has to do it's a bit of a feat of engineering to get them above a d cup um, especially above a G cup and this particular one goes all the way through to a J um, so it's pretty good they are obviously going to fit firmer than your normal bras but we see a lot of people saying they need to go down or up a back size of strapless bras and really you shouldn't have to if you're wearing the right size in the first place um, they are designed to fit similarly to your normal bras but obviously just with that extra security in the back band to give you that extra lift without the need for the straps most of them do also come with multi-way straps so you can kind of you can wear them as a halter or you can cross the straps over do one shoulder kind of to work it with as many outfits as possible next style on my list is a full cup bra so full cup bras are quite self-explanatory they are a bra with a cup that is fuller coverage than normal um, this is the fantasy jacqueline lace and as you can see it sits quite high on my breast tissue compared to some of the other styles i've been wearing um, generally, they are not always suited to people with very full, high or very kind of firm breast tissue. Just because of the shape of the cup, there's a bit of lack of depth in the neckline, um, just because of how high it sits up. So you might want to try going up a cup size if you're finding that it's digging in too much. Um, but other than that, they're quite a modest style, really good for kind of every day under like higher necklines. And yeah. Next up, I'm talking about side support bras. So this is the Curvy Cape Victory bra. It's a balcony cup, but a little bit full of coverage, but it's a side support bra because it's got this fourth panel in the cup here, which helps project your bust forward. They give a really nice kind of central projected shape to your bust. So it's really good for creating like a sleek line under clothes. Um, they generally run quite true to size but because that side panel is pushing all your breast tissue forward you might find you need to go up a cup size just to get some extra depth in the cup depending on your original breast shape they are great for people with kind of side set or side heavy east west facing boobs like me so side support bras are one of my favorite styles for that reason next up we're talking stretch lace so this is the Envy from Panache, which is one of my favourite stretch lace bras. It has the stretch lace top panel here, which means it can kind of mould to your bust and it's really good for asymmetrical shapes um, because of that. So the lace can either shrink down a little bit to fit a smaller side or it can stretch a little bit to fit the bigger side. We all recommend fitting your bra to the larger side just so you get that fit from the underwire and it's not digging in and causing any damage to your breast tissue also great for those who find that their breast shape fluctuates a lot throughout the month based on their hormone levels um so great for period boobs you know if you don't want to buy loads of different bras in different sizes invest in some stretch lace bras because then they will keep you supported throughout your cycle the final style i'm going to be talking to you about today is long line bras so this is the Paul Moir Sensation uh, long line bra. They can be a little bit trickier to find in larger cup sizes, but if you can find one, I really recommend getting it because they can really help with your posture because of the extended long line band. And it also gives you really good support to your bust as well, because as we all know, the back band of your bra is what gives the most support. So the deeper it is, the more support it's gonna give to your boobs. Um, usually they have a little bit of kind of flexible plastic boning just to stop the band from flipping and rolling this particular style doesn't um, but it does have the kind of thicker seams which help keep it straight and smooth you can also get bras that don't come down as long like the uh, Clio by Panache Piper style so you can see it's just a slightly extended underband but it still helps give you that 
extra uplift and support. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, there was quite a lot of information in there, but I tried to kind of just tell you all the key points um, for each style of bra. I will link them all below in the description. So if you're interested in any of them, check them out and let me know if you'd like to see any more videos. See you later.